Well, welcome to High Ground Gaming. This is Eric, and today we're going to be playing a doubleheader, actually, um, between the Cleveland Indians and the Boston Red Sox. It's a makeup game from the uh, first series of the season, which I think was that Wednesday got rained out. Um, game number two, I think it was supposed to be of the season, got rained out. So today we're going to be making that up, um, and it's going to be in Boston instead of Cleveland. Um, so the first game is going to be with Rick Waits of the Cleveland Indians going up against Louis Tiant. Where's Rick Waits? I'm not sure his name is Rick. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, Rick Waits. And the second game is going to be, which I'll do in a separate video, um, which will is going to be between... Mike Paxton for the Indians, who would also pitch for the Red Sox at one point, and uh, against Dennis Eckersley for the Red Sox. So, but this first game will be Rick Waits against Louis Tiant. So, all right, so let's get this game underway. Welcome to the stadium for today's ball game. <laughs> All right, let's play ball. So in this first game of the doubleheader today, I think it was a uh, twilight doubleheader. Uh, this game started at 5 p.m., and I think the next game starts uh, immediately after it. Yep, oh, looks like we got some action in downtown Gardner here. <laughs> All right, so anyway, so Louis Tiant will take the mound, and he has currently has a record... This is his first start of the season. He, is, he was 13-8 on the season with a 3.31 ERA, 212 innings pitched, 185 hits, 57 walks, and 114 strikeouts. Also gave up 26 home runs. And he'll be facing a lineup of the Cleveland Indians, which is as follows. Paul Dade will bat first and play right field. Johnny Grubb, the left fielder, will bat second. Batting third will be Buddy Bell, the third baseman. Andre Thornton will bat third. Uh, will bat cleanup, sorry. Will play first base. Lauro Blanks, the shortstop, will bat fifth. DHing and batting sixth will be Willie Horton. Batting seventh will be the catcher, Ron Pruitt. Eighth, the center fielder, Rick Manning. And batting ninth will be Dwayne Kuyper, the second baseman. And it's 5 o'clock on. April 23rd, 1978. Attendance is 36,246. And let's get this game underway. Tiant looks in for the sign. Here's his pitch. Paul Dade is hitting 289 with a homer and eight runs batted in. The Cleveland Indians beat the Red Sox yesterday uh, quite handily. I'm not sure the exact score, but quite handily. It's going to be from Tiant 6 column, which is the column you want to be in. Louie wants to be in. And it's a fly ball to center. Lynn sprints over and makes the catch. One gone. Johnny Grove up next. Hitting just a buck 71 with three runs batted in. He has the wind up in the pitch. And so he's going to have himself a single up the middle. So a one-out single. 
Buddy Bell now is off to a great start. He's hitting 486 with a homer and eight runs batted in. He's got his two call, which is a walk. So runners on first and second now with one out. For the dangerous Andre Thornton, although he's been struggling this year so far, hitting just a buck 19, but does have two homers and three runs batted in. I believe he hit a home run yesterday. In yesterday's game. And he'll strike out, so two down. So big out for Tion. Barbo Blanks up now, hitting 282 with a homer and three runs batted in. And it's going to be a ground ball to first. Scott's going to take it to, him, to the bag himself, and that will retire the side. So the Indians threaten, but do not score. So the bottom of the first, the Red Sox will be coming up. They will have... They'll be going up against Rick Waits. Oh, looks like it's got a fire truck going on downtown here. Anyway, uh, Rick Waits has no record with a 4.32 ERA. Eight innings pitched, eight hits, three walks, and one strikeout. Jerry Remy comes to the plate first. He'll be He'll be playing second base. Rick Burleson, the shortstop, bats second. Jim Rice, left fielder, bats third. Batting cleanup will be the catcher, Colin Fisk. George Scott will bat fifth and play first base. Batting sixth will be the center fielder, Dwight Evans. Batting seventh will be the right fielder. I'm sorry. Batting sixth will be the center fielder, Fred Lynn. Batting seventh will be the Right field of Dwight Evans. Third baseman Butch Hobson bats eighth. And DHing today will be Bob Bailey. Kai Stromsky has the first game off of the doubleheader. I'm sure we'll probably see him in the second game. So Jerry Remy comes up to the plate first, hitting 370 with seven runs batted in. Still looking for his first stolen base of the year. And it's a ground ball to Thornton. Looks like he'll take it himself. So Rick Burleson up now, hitting 333 with no home runs and got his 10th RBI yesterday. Got the four call. And just a line drive to Bell, and he'll make the catch for the second out of the inning. Jim Rice up now, hitting 315 with three homers and nine runs batted in. And he will strike out. So one, two, three, go the Red Sox in the first. Hit to the top of the second. No score. Willie Horton up now. He's been struggling on the year, hitting just a buck forty seven with two homers and three runs batted in. And it's gonna be a range check on Fisk. Looks like it's gonna be a foul out to Fisk. So that's the first out of the inning. Ron Pruitt up now. Hitting 200. And he will strike out for the second out of the inning. Rick Manning up now. The right field, uh, sorry, the center fielder. He's off to a great start. He's 361. No homers and two runs batted in. It's going to be a ground ball to Remy. He's up with it over to Scott, and that will retire the side. So the Indians go 1 2 3 in the second. Colin Fisk up now, hitting 254. Three homers and six runs batted in. No, oh, actually, this was the second game of the doubleheader. So the first game is the so this will be game number 15 on the season so you'll be seeing this game second <laughs> so we will play the other game after this one and but we, we you'll be seeing it first this was just the first game that came up on the schedule so so this was this must be the makeup game right here
And it's going to be a range check on the catcher. And it will be an out. Pops it up in foul territory. Improved will make the catch at the railing. So one up and one down. George Scott up now hitting 314 with two homers and seven runs batted in. The ground ball to Bell. Right at him. Snares it easily and throws the first. And he's out by a step. Let's check out the scores around the league, around the American League. Kansas City and Baltimore are scoreless. Busby's batting Martinez. Texas in front of Detroit, 4-1. to one. Milwaukee leads New York, 3-2. to two. The White Sox are edging the Blue Jays, 1-0. to nothing. Stone is battling Jefferson. Oakland is edging Seattle, 3-2. to two. And in our contest here, no score. So Freddie Lynn is up now, hitting 268. Does have leads the team with four home runs and six RBIs. Well, the homers lead the team. It's a screamer to Blanks. Takes it with the backhand. Throws short, and Thornton scoops it up. So good play by Thornton to save an error. And the Indians go 1-2-3. So Dwayne Kuyper will bat now, hitting 171, the light hitting second baseman. Well, so far this year he's light hitting. And it's right, hits a shot right to Remy who makes, makes a diving catch of the line drive. All right, next up will be Paul Dade. He's 0 for 1. And a ground ball to Hobson. He scoops it up. Long throw, and he's out. So two up and two down. Johnny Grub up now. He's got the only hit of the game so far. A single. And he'll strike out this time. So Tion gets him. Swinging. So the Indians go in order. Bottom of the third now. Evans, Hobson, and Bailey. Give me a two column for Evans. Give me a fly ball to center. Manning will be under it. And he makes the catch. Good job set up now, hitting 300 with a homer and five runs batted in. Off currents, off uh, weights is six, five column. And he's going to have himself a single, just past blanks. All right, making his second at bat on the year. He had a pinch hit at bat the other day. It was yesterday, actually. And he got a hit in it, so he's one for one on the season. Just hit just 191 on the season in 94 at bats with four homers and nine runs batted in. The veteran Bob Bailey is the wind up and the pitch. And he's definitely better against the lefties than he was the righties. But this time he grounds out to Kuiper. And Hobson will move up second on the play. So two outs in a run in scoring position for Jerry Remy. Alrighty, sorry about that. It was one of my students. I had to help him with a trigonometry problem. But anyway, we're back to the game. And uh, we're in the th third inning with two outs. Bottom of the third. Red Sox have a run in scoring position. Looking to push ahead the first run of the game. Jerry Remy is up. 0 for 1. Here's the wind up in the pitch. It's having me off the four column. Maybe ground ball to Blanks. Ooh, this is as bad as hitting it to Hobson, if not maybe a little bit worse. So we have a good shot here of at least getting extending the inning. Yeah, looks like it's going to be an error on Blanks. 
Question is what kind of error? So just a one base error. So Hobson moved the third and Remy to first. Rick Burleson up now with two down. Chance for it to drive in a run. It's going to be off of the five calm, which is the calm Burleson wants to be on if he's on the pitcher's card. And it's going to be a single to left. Hobson will come in with the first run. Remy makes it all the way down the third. So the Red Sox go on first on an RBI single by Rick Burleson, who now has 11 ribbies on the season and leads the team. Jim Rice is up now. See if he can add to the lead. And he will walk. So it's going to be a foul ball. Just foul. And then he's back in the box. And next pitch. And yeah, he checked his swing, so it will be that walk. It's a little bit, little bit delayed of what we thought it was going to be. All right, Fisk is up now with the bases loaded. A chance to do some real damage here. It's going to be off of his two call. And he will walk. And Remy will come in to score, so the bases loaded walk. All right, George Scott up when the base is loaded. He has hit a grand slam already this season. See what he can do here against the Brewers. Ooh, he's in a good calm here to be in. And fortunately, he hits the ground ball C, and that will retire the side. But the Red Sox push across two runs and lead it 2 to nothing after three. Buddy Bell up now. And it will be a line out to, oh no, it's two hopper to, two hopper to Hobson. Looks like a line out on the card there. So let's check out the scores. Kansas City and Baltimore scoreless. Texas is beating Detroit four to two. Milwaukee is ahead of the Yankees five to three. Toronto is edging Chicago two to one. Jefferson and Stone dueling. Oakland and Seattle are tied at five. Alexander. Has hit his second home run for Oakland. And here in Boston, the Red Sox are ahead 2 to nothing. So Andre Thornton will lead it up. Struck out his first time up. However, this time he gets a hold of one. And hits it over the green monster into the netting for this first Cleveland run. His third home run of the year. And cuts the lead in half. So Lavro Blanks will be up now. Made a big error, which allowed the Red Sox to score. Eventually score a run. Two runs. So both those runs are going to be unearned. And two bouncer to Burleson. Fires over to Scott. And that will be the second out of the inning. Willie Horton up now for one. And if it gets under it, it'll hit a fly ball to Rice, who's playing left field today. So the Red Sox defense is above average in the outfield, but Rice out is average range. So not quite as good as when Yastrzemski's in the lineup. So Fred Lynn up now. So Yastrzemski is getting the second game of the doubleheader off. So far, I'm sure he's available to pinch hit. Fred Lynn up now. Gets a six column. He's going to pop out the first. Thornton will make the catch. Dwight Evans up now. 0 for 1. And just to double check, it looks like... Yeah, it looks like both those runs were unearned as his... Uh, Waits his ERA has gone down. So Evans is one column. And it's going to be a hit the bell. Juggled it a bit, but held on. So a line out to Buddy Bell for the second out. Butch Hobbs sent up now. One for one with a run scored. Gets the one column, which is his best column. Gets his pitch. 
And he'll hold off on it. And he'll draw a walk. So Bob Bob Bailey up now with two outs. 0 for 1. And he will pop up to short. Blanks is under it. And makes the catch to retire the side. So they're after four full, the Red Sox lead two to one. Hey, Rod Poole to be up now, 0 for 1. Could be a fly ball to right. Looks like Evans is going to easily make the catch. And does he hold on to it? Yes, he does. Juggles a little bit, but holds on. Great. Oh, it was a diving catch. Beautiful play by Evans. Rick Manning up now. And sends him high into the air. Fisk is over by the dugout. Can't get, can't out of reach. And he swung on and misses the next pitch. He missed it by a mile. Dwayne Kuiper up now with two outs. So for one. And he'll line up to Hobson. And that'll be one, two, three, go the Indians in the top of the fifth. Rick Waits will come up now. I mean, uh, we're pitching now to Jerry Remy, top of the order, followed by Burleson and Rice. Remy's out for two, but does have a run scored. Reached on a, I think it was a fielder's choice. And gets his pitch here. And lines a single up the center. Sorry. So the leadoff runner is on for the Red Sox. With Burleson's up now. And he will strike out swinging. Jim Rice will be up now. 0 for 1 with a walk. Helped extend the inning so the Red Sox could push across another run in the third. And he will strike out swinging. So two strikeouts for Waits in the inning. Now has three on the day. Fisk up now. 0 for 1 with an RBI. Had an RBI walk, forcing in a run. Bases loaded walk, that is. So it's going to be a fly ball to right. It's going to go to Dade. So one through, he's got three range. So one through six will be a hit. And it's, it looks like it's going to get past him. He can't get to it. It's going to be a double. And no, no error there. Uh, it would have been nice to have a double E2. That would have been... An, a run. Looks like Remy is going to hopefully come across. Nope, Remy's going to hold up at third. Figured he'd be off and running, so he'd easily score, but apparently he's held up. Didn't get a good read on that, even though there was two outs. <laughs> George Scott up now with runners on second and third. Chance to put the Red Sox further ahead. Yes, nope. Ground ball the second. Kuiper's up with over the Thornton. And the Red Sox threaten but do not score. So a missed opportunity there for the Red Sox. Top of the order, Paul Dade is up. 0 for 2. Keon's at 67 pitches here in the sixth. And Burleson leaps and makes the catch. Great range by Burleson. So one out in the top of the sixth. Johnny Grubb up now. One for two. And he's going to have himself a single. Pass Burleson into the outfield. So one out single. Buddy Bell for one with a walk. Ooh, looks like he gets a hold of one. No, he doesn't. But it actually does drop in there for a hit. 
So apparently he must have weak. Let me check him again. Must have weak power. Yeah, weak power versus righty pitcher, or else that would have been a home run. So Andre Thorne has already got a home run in the game. Has a couple runners on with just one out. Here's the windup in the pitch. And he'll strike out. So big strikeout for Tion. Now two down with runners at the corners for Blanks. And it's going to round ball back to Tion. He's going to flip over to Scott. Score a 1-3, and that will retire the side. So the Indians cannot score the tying run. All right, more scores. Kansas City in front of Baltimore, 3 to nothing. Busby comfortably ahead for Kansas City. Texas ahead of Detroit, 5-3. to Milwaukee doubling up on New York, 6-3. to Toronto on top of Chicago, 3-1. to Oakland and Seattle are tied at 6. Uh, Revering has his first hit, his first home run for Oakland. And here, Boston's ahead of Cleveland, 2-1. to So Fred Lynn up now, 0 for 2. Looks like he's going to get his pitch. And just past glove, Blanks's glove for a leadoff single. Hmm. Uh, not that great a stolen base guy. All right, Evans up now. Let me just check something here. We'll see if Lynn had a stolen base attempt in the game. Nope, Fisk did though. Nope, so we're not going to have him steal. All right, so Dwight Evans up now with nobody out. Lead runner on. Gets a good pitch here. However, it's right at blanks. Taylor made double play. Just nips Evans and Hobson will be up now. And now, when the base is empty, one for one with the run scored, and he will strike out. So after six full, the Red Sox lead it two to one. There's a curve in the dirt that Hobson missed. Bad swing there. All right, Tian will face Horton, Pruitt, and Manning. Horton's 0 for 2. Oh, looks like he let one hang here. And it's up too high. And Horton will be on with a leadoff walk. Pruitt 0 for 2. Horton inches away from the bag. High and tight slider. Looks like he's going to try to steal. All right, we're going to throw for him. Hook slide, and he's out. Nice throw by Fisk. Burleson applies the tag, and he's out. So Fisk guns him down. Prove it up now. Now with nobody on base. Get ground ball to Hobson. Who's in front of it? It's a bad bounce, but he stays with it. And throws over to first, and luckily the catcher was running, so he had time. So he's retired. So two down. Manning now up with nobody on base, and two down. And he'll have himself a single. Kuiper up now for two. And he takes a walking lead. Got two two stolen bases in five attempts. It goes back to a shorter lead as Tiant looks over. And he'll get under one and pop it to Remy, who will make the catch to retire the side. Late swing by Kuiper. So he got himself a good pitcher's duel today. All right, let's look at the uh, trivia question. Who holds the Major League record for the highest lifetime batting average? Uh, that's a pretty easy one. Give people a chance to guess. Uh, 
All right, and that would be Ty Cobb, 360, does that round up to 67? It's either 366 or 367. I think it's 367. Yes, 367. I want to think it's who's next. I think it might be Stan Musil. I don't know. I can't remember. Let's look it up while we have a chance. Let's see. Career batting average. Let's look at the old baseball reference. Ty Cobb 366.4. So technically it's 366. And Rogers Hornsby, wow, Rogers Hornsby is second with 358. Followed by Shoeless Joe, 355. Lefty O'Doul, 349. Ed Delahante, 345. Tris Speaker, 344. Billy Hamilton and Ted Williams, both 344. Huh. Stan Musil was not there. Where is Stan Musil? Wow, he's down at 330. <laughs> Which is tied for third. Which, no, no, at 30th place alone. Still, not too shabby. So Cobb, Hornsby, and Jackson are the top three. Lefty old duel is fourth. So interest, interestingly enough, out of the top ten hitters, eight of them are left-handed. Whereas un, in golf, very rarely are there are the top golfers left-handed. So that's kind of interesting. So all right. So those some data there. Some stats. So Bob Bailey will lead it off here on the top of the seventh. 0 for 2 on the day. Still looking for his... Well, he did get his first hit of the season, but looking for his first hit of the day. And it's a ground ball to Kuiper. Fires it over to first. One down. Rem Dog up now. 1 for 3 with a run scored. Scored the first Red Sox run. going to get on and he's going to have himself a one out double to right to the triangle he ever really hammered that one so Rick Burleson will go up now trying to get go for his 12th, R, 12th RBI he already leads the team with 11 chance to get another one and it looks like they're going to take out Waits. Torborg comes to the mound. He's going to bring in Sid Monge. He's got an ERA of three. Three innings pitched, three hits, two walks, and four strikeouts, and allowed one homer. He's a lefty, so good matchup for Burleson. And he will walk. So first and second for Rice. 0 for 2 on the day with a walk. That was a key walk as it extended the inning. Lunges 4 column. And it's a ground ball right back to the pitcher. So he had a chance at that one, but he rolls a 2. So score at 1 4. So Colin Fist still has his shot here. 1 for 2 with a double. And he had a big, but his hit was not the biggest thing. It was his. Bases loaded walk, which pushed ahead the go-ahead run. And he'll line out. Oh, that could have been a, that could have been a triple play if uh, there was nobody out. <laughs> However, it still ends the inning, and the Red Sox cannot extend their lead. So as you can see here, the fans reported were 30,594, not what I reported. Interesting. So, all right, so Paul Dade will lead it off here for the Indians in the eighth. See how it still looks. Well, Red Sox are going to get some action in the bullpen. As Tiant's up to 106 pitches. Let's see, who are we going to get up? Oh, I think I was right on that. Oh, we are playing the first game. That was my bad. 
So never mind that one. So this is the third, uh, 15th game of the season. Uh, 14th game, sorry. I was looking at the wrong... I was looking at the box score of the second one. So this is the first game of this. Okay. It's at 1.37 p.m. It's when the game started. So this is the... Yes, this is the first game of the doubleheader. Okay. <laughs> I just flipped over to the other game and didn't even realize it when I was getting... So this is the first game of the doubleheader. So this is game number 14 of the season. So we, we this one will be uploaded before the next one, which is good. So we are doing it in the right order. And it doesn't show the attendance, I don't think. But as we can see, it's 30,594. So we're going to take that as being the correct attendance. All right. Good to know. Oh yeah. So we gotta see who's warming up in the bullpen. Gonna be Dick Drago and Bill Campbell. Actually, Bill Campbell will be warming up. And Bill Campbell. Dick Drago has pitched quite a few innings so far. Let's look at the uh, just to get an idea of. Yeah, he's at 138%. So he's kind of, both these pitchers are being, over, the whole Red Sox bullpen is actually overused, except for Bergmeier. I don't know, we'll see who comes up. We'll have Bergmeier and Campbell warming up in the bullpen. See what the situation brings. So Paul Dade up now, and he'll have himself a leadoff double. So good start for the Indians, and I think that'll be. Uh, we'll let Tiana think. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna yank him now and bring in Bergmeier to face Grub. Lefty on lefty matchup. Let's see. Yeah, he's 8 well. Well, Campbell is very good against lefties, too, but we'll go with the lefty-lefty matchup. So Bergmeier replaces Tiant. Tiant gets a standing ovation. So far, he's only allowed one run, but is responsible for Dade on first. So Bergmeier looks in for the sign. Here's the windup and the pitch. And it'll be a single. Day to stop at third with nobody out. Hmm. Yeah, I think we got to take him out. He's not that great against the righties. So, Bergmar does not do his job. And the Red Sox will be bringing in. Could bring in Drago. Drago actually pitched in the regular game, so I think we might bring in Drago. We'll just, uh, yeah, you know he's 162. We'll get we'll get him some rest later on. So all right, Drago comes in as he did in the regular game. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Infield is in. Here's the wind-up in the pitch. Looking for a strikeout here, which he won't get one on the air. Bit of be a line out, so it stays in the air. And that'll be one down. So S S Scott makes a great play. Dangerous Andre Thornton is up now, though. Red Sox will be playing back in double play. Oh, corners will be in. So Burleson and Remy go back to their normal positions. Hoping to get a Ground ball double play. Looks like they're going to be prepared to go home. Hobson and Scott if it's hit to them. Here's the wind up in the pitch. Ooh, Thornton's going to uh, get his pitch here. 
It's a fly ball to left field. Rice is under it. And 1 to 17. Ooh. So we want to keep Grubb from getting in scoring position. Just in case there's a hit. So we're going to we're going to stop the other runner from advances. We're going to let Dade score. As Rice doesn't have the greater arm. And it's a 1 to 17 chance. So we don't have much of a chance there. So Hobson Burleson's going to cut it off and prevents Grubb from going to second, but the Indians score the tying run. But now there's two outs. So Blank's up now. Gets his pitch. And Hobson snares the liner. And that'll retire the side. So the Indians score one and tie it in the top of the eighth. Red Sox hoping to get back in the lead. They'll have Scott, Lynn, and Evans. And Scott had himself a single. So a good start here for the Red Sox. Freddie Lynn up now. Hmm. Scott has... Base running 1 to 11. Who can we bring in? Can we bring in somebody else? I don't think we have our first baseman are lacking. Oh, we could bring in Yastrzemski. I think we're going to bring in Yastrzemski. Uh, I'd rather have him pinch hit, if nothing else. So maybe we'll have... No, we're not going to have him pinch hit. Uh, I think we're going to have, let's see, who can we have? Who can play first? I know Fred Kendall can, but he's awful defensively. 4E10. Oh, you know what? Daly can play. No, he can't. Third base left field. Duffy? No. Jemski's the only other one, so, but, let's see, who, can, who runs faster, let's see. He doesn't. He's a 1 to 14, Duffy is. So, yeah, I think we're going to bring in, we're going to bring in Duffy to pinch run for Scott. And we'll have Yastrzemski come in and play first base. There we go. We are good. Maybe do a double switch with Duffy, possibly. I don't think so, though. All right, so lead off runner is on for the Red Sox. Speed of 14 as opposed to 11. Freddie Lynn steps into the box. Does Duffy steal any bases? No. Nah. We're just going to hit away. And he'll pop up, gets under one, pop up the blanks, and we have one down. So Lynn looks like he got fooled on that one. Dwight Evans up now, 0 for 3. Mon's still in there. Looks like Evans is going get, to get a good shot here. And nope, he's going to line out to Grub. So two down. Yeah, he doesn't steal that much, so we're going to have, have him hit away. Red Sox in general don't steal that much. And he'll pop out. Oh, it looks like a looper to Bell. And the Red Sox cannot make use of the Lead-off single by Scott, so Yastrzemski will come in and play first. Okay. So we improve defensively at first. 
All right, Willie Horton will lead it off for the Indians here in the top of the ninth. Uh, I think we'll leave Dre going. And he'll strike him out. So a good start to the inning. On the appeal, he's rung up. So Ron Pruitt up now, 0 for 3. Ground ball to Burleson. On the first, he's out. So Rick Manning up now, 1 for 3. And he'll pop up to Remy, and that will be the retire the side. So one, two, three, go the Indians in the ninth. The Red Sox come up with a chance to win it here in the bottom of the ninth. Said so I, uh, Dick Drago does a fine job today, keeping the Indians off the board here in the ninth. Let's see. I think we're definitely gonna pinch hit for Bob Bailey. Let's check him here. He is pretty good against lefties, though. So we need a base runner. So I think we're gonna. I think we might leave him in just because he does have a lot of ability to get on base. So all right, here's the wind up and the pitch. There we go. Ugh, not the right one we wanted to. Winds out the bell. One thing we didn't want was that. <laughs> well, this. Seven or an eight would have been nice, or even a one or four or five. All right, so final scores: Kansas City beats Baltimore three to nothing. T Rangers beat the Tigers five to four. Milwaukee beats New York seven to five. The White Sox beat the Blue Jays four to three. Willis takes a loss, drops his record to zero and one. Will be the winner. He's now two and one. Seattle nips Oakland eight to seven. Robert has hit his third home run for Seattle. So, all right, Jerry Ramey will, lead it. will uh, come up with one out here in the ninth. Two for four on the day. And has his second double of the day. Just to the left of the triangle. Manning can't get to it. Bounces off the wall. and So, a one out double. So, Brooke Burleson has another RBI chance. Could be the game winner here. Bond is still in there. And it'll be a fly ball to left. Looks like Grubb's going to be under it. Shallow fly. He'll make the catch. The diving catch. Wow. Nice catch by Grubb. All right. Jim Rice, the MVP of the season, has a chance to give the Red Sox the win here with a base hit. Remy takes his lead off second. And they're going to intentionally walk him. So probably a smart move by the Indians. So Fisk will still have a chance here. One for three with a double. And he's going to have himself a single. Are we going to... Yeah, we got a yeah, lead runner one to 19. We're going to send him. Send him all the way. All the way home. So anything but a 20. And Remy scores, and the Red Sox win 3-2. to two. So the Red Sox have a walk-off win here in the bottom of the ninth. Let's get the box score. So a great victory for the Red Sox. Drago will get the win. He improves to 3-1, and one, although he does have a blown save. Didn't allow any hits, but did allow that out that scored the run. I think it was a sack fly. In the bottom of the uh, top of the eighth. But the Red Sox do prevail in the, in the long run and improve their record to nine and five. It'd be ten and four the regular season. So we're still one game behind. So we'll have a chance next game because they did lose in real life. So if they win they'll be tied uh, with the record they had in nineteen seventy eight. In the regular season. Rick Waits pitched a good game. Unfortunately, he lets up two runs, which were both unearned. Six and a third inning, six hits. So he pitched a great game. Just uh, his defense let him down. He made the error on that one. So it looks like... Yeah, 
And somebody made an error, I just can't see who. I really can't tell. Oh, there it is. Lateral blanks. Yep, the shortstop. That's right. So, let's see how the Red Sox did. The Red Sox managed nine hits. Fisk was two for four with a couple of runs batted in. Tiant was great on the mound, too, for the Red Sox. Seven innings pitch, six hits. Two runs, both of them earned. Five strikeouts, two walks. So I think we're going to give... We'll give Burleson the MVP there of the game. And that'll be it. Thank you for joining me. It's been Eric from High Ground Gaming. We'll see you in game two of the doubleheader. Bye-bye. God bless.